So our project is a 3D renderer that allows the user to essentially paint in three dimensions. So over here on the left, we have our canvas essentially, as well as NTSC camera. Uh, we have our stylus right here, um, which the user can essentially point under the camera and measure the amount of pixels from the NTSC camera, uh, which measures the XY coordinate as well as the depth. So, oh. the, so the size gives the depth. Exactly. Okay. So what we do is we calculate a centroid for the X, Y, and Z values, and we send that over to another host over there, which is running MATLAB, and that's drawing in real time a 3D rendering of what's actually being painted. In the okay. So... We can uh, go ahead and so the, that. Let me, before that, uh, so the, the, the camera analysis stuff is running on the FPGA? Yes. yes. Is it running on the HPS or on the hardware side or both? Data is being sent from the um, HPS to the FPGA right. and vice versa. Yeah. Right. So essentially, uh, essentially uh, we are doing most of the camera analysis on the FPGA, except for a division step, which we realized would just be easier done on the HPS, but that just gets sent back directly to the FPGA. So we offload the division to the HPS. I see, so the normalization is on the, yeah. on the HPS. Okay, yeah. all right, so now start drawing over there. Yeah. He's going to put so, some threshold values on so that So I'm going to first uh, open up the host. Uh, and then I'm going to initialize uh, the program uh, so I can have some initial setup values, uh, set up my thresholding uh, for actual color detection. Um, and you can see that now it's sending coordinates over to uh, Python here. And then I can open up this plot in MATLAB that uh, displays stuff going on real time. So I can see him moving in a circle around. Now we're going up. At the end. So there's a little <laughs> flick at the end. So, um, is there some delay? How much delay is there between here and there? It's about uh, 0.1 seconds. So, okay. 10 milliseconds. Essentially real time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was a programmed uh, 10 milliseconds. Okay, so now, now do a planar square over here. Hold the thing uh, at zero altitude and do a planar square. Okay. Maybe, maybe you want to do clear you wanna, that. Do you want to restart it so yeah. it's clean? We didn't explain, by the way, over here on the screen, uh, top left is the camera feed, bottom left is the thresholding values, and on the top right we essentially have boxes which show our XY coordinates, as well as by the radius, the depth from the camera. So this is, this is like debugging aids? Right. In some way, yeah. 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 So this is the data being sent back from the HPS. Right, okay. right. Yeah. Okay, so this is slightly confusing because MATLAB auto resizes the the plot as you draw. You can you can disable that, you know. Yeah. yeah. All right. But you can see the you can see the square here, and then I can't tell from the perspective of that if that's going up or not. But I don't think so. Yeah. Essentially, it's very like relatively minimal. Like, so yeah, it so is going up, but by a very small amount compared. So. To yeah, there's an incline oh, on the Oh, oh, there's an incline. A slight oh, incline on the canvas. Oh, so you're actually rocking, you are rocking up a little bit. Yeah, right. just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you.